Hey guys, welcome back to Dominate Fishing. I'm Dan Meyer, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about spins and underspins for fishing for spring crappies. Underspins and spins are their lures that work really well for fishing crappies, especially in the spring and the summer. And in the spring, a lot of times what you're faced with is you're faced with crappies that are schooled up and they're not spread out. So you need to be able to find where the school is. So to do that, it helps if you can fish fast, if you can power fish an area, you know, say you're fishing a big weed bed, if you can just move down that weed bed slowly with your trolling motor, casting a lure out, retrieving to find where those schools of fish are. And spins and underspins work really well for that. So when I talk about a spin, I'm talking about a lure with a, some type of spinner that rides above the lure. So here's a, a spinner bait. These spinner baits, act, incidentally, are lures a lot of guys don't throw for crappies. We'll talk about that more uh, in a little while. Or something like a beetle spin. It's got the, the spinner bait, uh, blade above the bait. And then an underspin simply has a a spinner underneath the lure and these baits work well for fishing fast first off they're heavier lures and you can cast them and just slowly retrieve them back to the boat so the spring is in an ideal situation when those crappies are up in the weeds they're in thick bulrush or they're in wood because these lures too you can fish in you know moderately thick wood we're talking big logs if you've got like freshly down trees with a lot of branches then these maybe aren't the way to go but if they're if you've got crappie sitting under big logs these baits work really well so that's kind of when you're gonna fish a spin or under spin you're gonna use it anytime you're, you're fishing kind of like you're using them as search baits if you find a school of crappies you know you might be able to catch more really dialing in with a more finesse presentation you know fishing a float with a, a live bait or a, a jig and plastic under it but for finding these fish for fishing fast these baits work really well so the you know looking at some of the ones that I like we've already looked at the spinner bait it's a bigger bait you know, typically when you think of spinner bait, you're thinking of bass fishing or pike fishing. But these new smaller spinner baits, this one's by Crappie Max. Max, it's a crappie spin. You're, this works really well for catching big panfish. You know, you might get a bass or two, but this is a good bait for fishing the panfish. And like all, you know, weed beds or like all spinner baits, this bait works really well fishing in weed beds. It's you know the way the the bait rides through the water column with the spin it's fairly weedless you don't get snagged a lot and you can fish those weeds quickly looking for those spring crappies same with the johnson beetle spin you can bring this through weeds or you can throw it up into that wood you know as long as the wood isn't too branchy and snaggy and those big crappies are going to come out because the the key to all these baits that spinner bait on them you know, whether it be the spin or the underspin, it's going to add flash, which a lot of times in the spring makes a big difference. In spring, you've got, you know, runoff as the snow's melting, you've got spring rains and it can make murky water. And a lot of times that flash of that spinner gets the attention of those fish, gets them to come over and bite. It also will help differentiate your lures from other bait that these fish are feeding on. Another one I like is the wing ding. This is the wing uh, VMC wing ding spin jig. Now these underspins, you can fish them just like a regular spin. You can cast this out and slowly retrieve it to the uh, back to the boat. You also can drop these. Let it, as you retrieve it, you can let it drop down into pockets. You could swim it a little, or you can pitch this lure into pockets in the weeds, pockets in the bulrush, or you could pitch this into, you know, a pocket in some timber. So this bait, you actually could fish this one under a float. You wouldn't necessarily fish a beetle spin 
or you know some type of spinner bait under a float this underspin technically you could you can jig these underspins more than you can this you can't really jig the the spinning type lures beetle spin whatever but these underspins you can pitch these and you can jig them so you can slowly you know reel it back into the boat and just swim it back to the boat let that spinner do all all the attracting you've got the added vibration on all these spinners to attract the fish's attention you could fish it under a float you just want to make sure you're putting action on it keep that spinner dancing um, or you know or you can pitch it so another bait that works really well is the road runner this is in the Patriot color that's an underspin there's all different types of Roadrunners, all different colors. They all work well. These ones too, for the most part, you know, you, you'll cast it out and just slowly retrieve it to the boat. You could swim it up and down. The, the Roadrunner, just like the wing ding, you can let it drop into those weed pockets. It, you know, a lot of times if it's an afternoon and it's sunny and warm, we're talking spring, those crappies are gonna be high in the weed column, or sorry, in the water column. They might be above the weed, so that in that case, you're going to try to keep that bait high, keep the rod tip high, and just swim it over the top of the weeds. If it's a cold front, if it's early morning, and those crappies are lower in the weeds, that's where a good set of Polaroid glasses, you're going to cast out, slowly retrieve it, and you're going to let it drop into those pockets and try to pull those crappies out. So that's kind of the technique for all of these underspins, you know. Later in the afternoon, if those crappies are above the weeds, you're going to keep them up above. If it's early, you're going to let them drop down into the weed pockets and then bring them back up, try to get those fish to bite. If you're fishing the spinnerbait, those crappies are high in the, weed, the water column, you'll do a, a little bit faster retrieve, rod tip high, keep, it, keep the spinnerbait riding high. If they're lower in the weeds, you don't keep the rod tip as high and you reel a little slower and allow that spinnerbait to go actually through the weeds. And again, spinnerbaits are fairly weedless, so you can let it go right through those weeds and uh, that's where you're going to get the hit. So another one that, you know, there's a lot of different type of minnow spins, so this would be a, a swim bait type body on a spinner. It fishes just the same as the Johnson's Beetle Spin. But instead of the beetle body, it has a minnow swim bait style body. Fish is the same, you know, cast it out, slowly bring it over the top of the weeds or right through the weeds, depending on where the fish are sitting in the water column. Another lure I like is this fin spin. Looks just like this. Look at that silver in the tail. I mean, it's just flashing right here on my camera. We've also got glitter in the tail, chartreuse, plus we've got the spin. Tons of flash on this lure for attracting fish. Um, this, you can do the same thing. You can do a slow retrieve towards the, the uh, boat. The spinner will be going, or the spinner will also go on the drop. So, you, so same thing. You can just slow retrieve to the bait or the boat, or you can let this thing drop down into pockets. This is another one you can pitch up into wood. You could pitch it under a dock. Because the, that's the nice thing about the underspins. You're going to get the spin on the retrieve, but also on the drop. So just another great underspin lure. Um, but there are a lot of different underspins and spins that work. These are some of my favorites. I really like the wing ding. I really like this fin spin just because it's a, the shape is great. The underspin but then also all this glitter, we got so much flash, this is just a crappie killer. You can also fish this, so you can swim it back to the boat, you can pitch it. You also could fish this under a float if you want to keep it above the weeds and fish it slower. Because you're just going to need to, to jiggle your rod tip and keep some action on this under the float. Keep all those spinners going. This will fish great under a float and you're going to catch a lot of fish on it. So again, all these work really well, plus all the ones, just remember when you're fishing spins, they really excel when you're trying to locate fish. If you're working a shoreline, so like say you have a shoreline that has a ton of down wood on it, a ton of down trees, and you know they, they've maybe been down for a while, so a lot of the real snaggy branches are gone, and you just have these big, these big branches and these big sticks coming off. These are great lures, you can pitch them in there, and bring them back 
and just work down that shoreline and really get a lot of hits. Um, same with weeds. If you're working a weed bed, so I'll typically a lot of times early spring you're going to find these big schools of crappies in small areas in the weeds. So these baits work well if you're fishing this big giant weed flat. You can fish the weed, you know, the weed flat when you start catching some fish. Then you can go back to a different presentation like a, a float and live bait or float and plastic and really dial in on them. But these are great search lures. So I hope this video helped you guys and I'll see you in the next video.